Hey guys, it's Cindy. Today I'm going to be sharing a massive book outlet haul. This was what I ordered from their Black Friday sale, so if you want to see everything that I picked up, please stay tuned. Okay guys, so I know I previously did a book outlet or, uh, order and video not too long ago actually. It was featuring my cousin, but they were doing 30% off their website for Black Friday and I just had to pick up some stuff because I had to pick up a couple books for my sister to give them to her for Christmas and it was just a great deal. I had to pick some books up. Um, so the most expensive book that I ordered was actually $4.19, which isn't too bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just dig in. And I have the massive box that I probably can't even pick up to show you guys. Um, let's see. So it's all of these. Yes, big, big box. Okay, so the first book that's on top is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Um, most of these books that I picked up were actually because I've heard great things about them on BookTube. So I had to pick some up. So this just seems like a good contemporary. I know there are two companion novels. I picked up Anna and the French Kiss and then I also got, I hope I don't butcher her name, Isla and the Happily Ever After. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that, but I got both of these. This one is hardcover and this one is softback, so it's, it's okay. And it's going to look a little weird on my shelf because they're, they're not completely leveled. Um, but yeah, I picked these two up. I hope they're just like really good contemporaries like I've heard. And I'm just excited for some good contemporaries. I've been kind of in a weird mood with reading. I kind of want to read some like thrillers, but then I really want to read some contemporaries. So I really don't know what I'm in the mood to read right now. So then this book was actually recommended by one of the authors at a book signing that I went to. It is Mosquito Land by David Arnold. I don't know too much about this, but I have seen this literally everywhere. And um, I do like the end pages a lot of this book. Hopefully you guys can see all the images. I think those are so cute. I love when books have just like little details in them. And then the next book that I got, I actually got two different renditions of this. I don't know what I was thinking, but they were both so cute and I haven't read this in such a long time. So I got Peter Pan, two different renditions of it. So this was the first one. And I just love the cover of this. It is absolutely beautiful. And this is actually a Puffin classic. And then I got, I think this one is a Puffin too, Puffin Chalk. So this is the chalk and this is <laughs> the back. And this is the classic. So I just thought they were so cute so I had to pick them up. Um, I am going to be reading one of them. They're the same story but they're just different editions of them. So I really, really like those. And then I am going to be reading the winter version of this book for my Cramathon. Um, TBR. So if you want to see that video, I go into detail of the seven books that I'm going to be reading for that week and I am so excited for that. But I had to pick up Summer Days and Summer Nights. Um, I've heard that this one isn't as good as the other one, but I still wanted to pick it up and give it a try because it does have some good people. It has Le Bardugo, Nina LaCour, Veronica Roth. Um, I haven't heard of too many. Tim Federley, he was actually at the... Um, book signing that I went to. So that's interesting. Oh, and Cassandra Clare, of course. Um, and I think this book is so cute. It just says summer days and summer nights and uh, it's like imprinted. Yeah, you guys can see that. So I'm excited to read this. Just again, some good love stories. I'll probably wait for like spring or summertime to read this. So I'll be more in the mood because right now that will depress me because it's been raining here for like a week straight. Um, and then I got The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Once again, I have heard great things about this. I don't really know what it's about. Um, I kind of just saw the um, title up on Book Outlet and I was just like, yeah, I'm going to get that. I was going to get the second book too, but I tend to collect series before I even start reading them. And then afterwards, I'm like, what if I don't even like this? Um, so then I got these two that go together. I think the covers of these are absolutely gorgeous. I got Jacoby. And then I got Beastly Bones. So I just think these are so beautiful. I love how you can see the girl in her dress. And it's just such a beautiful book. I heard... Richard from Books and Bullshit talk about this and he really really liked them so I'm really excited to read these. 
And the next book that I got, I've heard a lot of good things about this book. It's by David Levithan. It's Every Day. I'm so upset because he came to my local bookstore to sign, uh, I forget what his newest release is, and I couldn't attend it, so I couldn't get anything signed or meet him. But this is about a guy that wakes up in a different person's body every single day, and he ends up falling in love with a girl. So it says here, every day a different body, every day a different life, every day in love with the same girl. And I could just, I couldn't even imagine. So I'm really excited to read this. And I got two more anthologies, because apparently that's what I'm into right now. Um, I got Kisses and Curses, which is, I think it's just like a, a supernatural love stories, like monsters. Um, I believe there are some vampires. Um, yeah, so everything about dead love. Um, I recognize Marissa, Ma mm, mm, Marissa Mayer and... Leigh Bardugo. Leigh Bardugo seems to do a lot of anthologies. I feel like she's in like every single one that I've picked up. Um, so I'm really excited to read this. And I picked up another copy for someone for Christmas, but I don't think she watches my videos anyways. And then I had my eye on this. I was going to pick this up at my bookstore and then I saw it there for cheap. So I was so excited. This is Slasher Girls and Monster Boys. Um, this is a, an anthology as well, but it is all about scary stories. Also Leigh Bardugo's on here. Marie Lou. Um, J. Kristoff. I just read Illuminate. It was really good. So yeah, I'm really excited about reading this. It's just a plain red book. I do like the back though with the blood splatter. That's a nice touch. And then I have a couple more. So I actually met this author back in September and I'm kind of upset that I didn't get the book then to get it signed. My sister did get the book signed by her. It's The Star Touch Queen by Roshni Choshki. I hope I didn't butcher that too bad. I do remember her first name being Roshni because my cousin was in love with her like literally like mouth to the floor and he went up to ask her a question and he was just like I can't pronounce her name. She was like no A and he was like Oh, okay, because he was just like so starstruck because she's absolutely gorgeous, but her name is Roshni. Um, so I'm excited to read this. I heard it's like a uh, uh, folk retelling. I don't know if it's like Indian retelling. I'm not really too sure. I know the second one is coming out soon. I saw it on Instagram, but I think this cover is absolutely gorgeous. And the next book that I got was The Creeping by Alexandra Sirawi. I hope I didn't butcher that. I think this cover is so gorgeous and I heard them talking about it. I believe it was like a either like a book explosion book book of the month or something like that and they were talking about it all in the month of October. Um, so yeah, this is going to be for those days that I want a thriller when I'm not reading um, any type of love story. So then the next two books are the last two and they are by the same author. Um, going back, I think I mentioned this in my last book haul. I met Neil Schusterman, I believe it was in November, and everything about him was so intriguing to me. His character, his backstory, his stories about his son and his life, like he... He, his story, I can't even talk, his story truly like touched my heart. Um, he spoke of Challenger Deep, which is actually a, a National Book Award winner, and it was um, inspired by his son. And I just, I, I fell in love with him. Like, I, I love his character, and I can't believe um, that I haven't really read anything of his in the past. I picked up Scythe and I got that sign from him. And then afterwards, after hearing him talk, I'm just like, I have to read more of his books. Um, so I did pick up Challenger Deep. And then I picked up the first book in the Unwind series. This was interesting to me because I was reading the synopsis, I think, on Goodreads. And it was saying how um, I believe the children, like, you are brought up and around the ages of 13 to 16th, you can be unwound. Which actually means that all of your organs are being donated to other people. And your parents actually have the right to make that decision for you. Like, that's crazy. Like... I think it's from different perspectives. I believe it was three different perspectives and one of those people have already pre, uh, been predestined by their parents to be unwound. Um, so that's really interesting to me because 
I just haven't heard anything of like of anything like that. So this is actually his dystopia, and then Scythe is like his utopia kind of. Um, so yeah, those are all the books that I picked up for um, the book outlet Black Friday sale. Um, my pile was huge. I want to pick them up, but I really don't want to drop them. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully you guys can see. <laughs> okay, so those are all the books that I picked up this uh, for this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!